Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I just wanted to hop on super quick and do a little bit of a catch up, get ready with me. I am gonna go visit my grandmother in Chilliwack and I have a bunch of new products that I wanna play with. And also, the verdict just came in, Johnny Depp won. Woohoo! So I wanna talk about the trial and I want to show you all my new products and just get ready for my lovely day. So let's just dive right in. Um, I'm going to start with the Sikapair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. So I saw this on um, someone's YouTube uh, channel and it's just an, like an anti-redness, which is perfect for me right now. I went and got a chemical peel two days ago. My girlfriend Isabel owns a lovely spa salon downtown and she gave me a chemical peel it's called the root electrolysis it does a bunch of different things so if you need something go check them out and i've started to peel but um i'm just gonna slather myself in some spf and pretend like it's not happening and we'll just act all normal so um i woke up this morning with my boyfriend was whispering in my ear the verdict is in and we both got up quickly and sat for jury watch as um, the jury rolled in and Amber Heard rolled in who looked beautiful. She has this like, I wonder like what her hair and makeup team and how they make choices about what she's going to look like. She's Because she does this thing where she has like her hair back and then a bunch of hair like in her face here. So it kind of looks, I think the point is innocent. And um, she never wore mascara when she was on the stand, but she always wore it when she wasn't on the stand. And my theory is that she can't cry. Like her acting coach literally said in her testimony that she has difficulty crying. Coffee, welcome. So I think that she didn't wear it. Okay, so next, oh my God, I have so much new stuff. So I just got a bunch of new, these are called Beaky, and they're just the best sponges from Amazon. This is my second time buying them because I don't want... Look, my cute cat. Laura! Look how adorable she is. I don't want to use a dirty sponge, so I constantly am going through them. And I also have... I got these. Sephora is having a sale right now, just like 30% off. I assume it's just getting rid of old stock. And they have this California Girls Blend and Cleanse. Um, I love the classic beauty blender. And then this solid um, beauty blender is probably the best sponge cleaner I've ever had. So I like using that. I also picked up this Morphe Filter Effect Brush and Sponge Duo. I'm not going to try the sponge out today, but I probably will try this brush out. I, I actually think I'll probably use... I'm going to use it for foundation today, but I think I might end up using it for contour it looks like a really great contour brush so let's do that and then I also have gosh they put so much packaging in these things Ooh, this is interesting and it's like kind of suede feeling what a weird uh, one time I used a suede beauty blender and I really was not a fan of it okay so we're gonna try out first the elf hydro grip primer the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Oh, I said that. This one's the Power Grip Primer. The other one's the Hydro Grip. I really like the Hydro Grip Primer. Uh, and this is supposed to be a dupe. I've been using it, and this one feels much more tacky than the... But my skin is so moist right now. Sorry if you don't like that word. But I, it's not as tacky as it usually is. And I feel like because I'm going to be waking off a lot today I'm just it's just gonna have to be the day I'm gonna go for dinner tonight with my aunt after I see my grandma in Chilliwack and I'm just gonna be like sorry you're looking at a gigantic flaky mask that's just what you're getting today next I have the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation this is the one that my sister got me I'm just gonna put a little bit on this new morphe brush this is one my sister got me in the states now the color is actually pretty good. It doesn't look that way on camera, but it's actually really nice. Ooh, I do like this brush. I lied. 
That is smooth as butter. Ooh, it's a nice brush. And I'm just gonna pat the rest. It's that foundation soaked right in my skin. Like that is gone. I like this foundation. And it looks so, do you see the natural? It looks so natural compared to this. I'm wearing nothing on my face other than um, just moisturizer. So the verdict. So if you've been watching, the witnesses that Amber has produced have been honestly fairly damaging to her side. I don't know how her lawyers have vetted these witnesses because there's this man, Dr. Spiegel. I'm sure you've seen the memes or whatever he looks like he looks like doc martin off of back to the future 1.21 gigawatts and he kind of acts like that a little bit too he acts like he honestly is on cocaine he was kept moving his mouth around like and johnny's side was like what are you doing and um he said that he got his baseline for johnny's behavior from his movies how unprofessional is that and then he kind of backtracks and he's like oh no never seen well you'd be happy to know that i never i've never seen willy wonka but pirates he said that he got his baseline from commercials from interviews which you can't do that you can't get someone's behavioral baseline from my cat just wants to be let out come on baby You can't get someone's behavioral baseline from an interview because that's not accurate to how they are. So he's claimed that Deb is a narcissist, which maybe, you never know. But does that mean that narcissists are automatically women beaters? No, it does not. All right, that is one layer of this ColourPop Hyaluronic Foundation. I don't think I'm going to powder today just because... I'm going to be flaking off all day, so I think I'm just going to keep it moist. I also got the um, chemical peel down my neck, so I am, it's a beautiful sunny day out, and I have to drive to Chilliwack, so I am going to be covering up with a hat, with the shade, with sunscreen, all freaking day. Mm. Alrighty, so next we have a new to me... Elf 16 hour camel concealer matte finish. I really like the hydrating concealer that they have. And I think that for my older eyes, this might be a little bit too drying, but we're gonna give it a try anyways. And I'm just gonna use a brush. The Rare Beauty concealer brush is one of my favorites. But you know what, we're just going to let it sit there for a hot minute and soak in. Concealer is one of those things where I actually think if you let it soak in, unless it's super drying, it, it works better. So we're just going to tap it in. Just tap it in. You know where that's from? I will give you $5. Actually, I can't give you $5 because this is the internet. I will give you a thumbs up and a like if you put and comment underneath where that's from. Tap it in. Just tap it in. It is from Happy Gilmore. Where he plays, where Adam Sandler plays a golf player. Alrighty. So automatically, because my skin is so dry right now and flaky from this chemical peel, that does not look great. But you know what, we're just gonna, we're just doing some first impressions here. And because of the skin that we have today, we're gonna give all of these products the benefit of the doubt, because we don't know. So four minutes after the verdict was read, which Johnny wasn't there, I wish he was just so we could see them go, woohoo! But he was filming in, I don't know, um, somewhere across the pond, Amber Heard posted an obviously pre-written script about how disappointed she was that she couldn't s 
state what happened to her and her truth and how sad it is for uh, other victims of domestic violence. And I'm actually really not surprised in that, but saddened because I think that anyone who's an Amber Heard fan is probably a victim of domestic violence themselves and just believes her because they didn't get believed or any of that. But I truly believe that the victim of domestic violence here is Johnny Depp. And he was um, proven to be listened to and all that such. And liars are going to be liars. Um, so next we have blush. This is a rare beauty. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. This is happy. And I'm just going to put the taintiest, wainsiest dot. And just you wait to see how far this freaking blush goes. Look at that. Just perfection. This brush I'm using is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer Blush. I have brush. I have two of them. I have one for um, bronzer, which I forgot to put on. I'm going to have to put it on after this because I have a brand new bronzer that I'm super excited about. I feel in a rush today, so I just need to slow down. I want to get out to Chilliwack, but I didn't want to not film. So, let's take a breath. Let's take a sip of coffee. We have time. It's okay. Okay, so I got the Huda Beauty Tan Tour Contour and Bronzer Cream. Super excited to try this out. Um, I really want the Makeup by Mario stick, but that is just on hold so I got light and look at this first of all it's much thinner than I thought I thought I would get more product than that but look how glorious it looks <gasps> I'm so excited I'm so excited okay I'm just gonna take a brush let's see which brush do I want I'm gonna take just a, um, a little bad boy of this and I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of product I'm going to start with that and blend it out and see what that does. All right, let's take a Morphe and just see what we're doing here. Well, that blends very easily. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's really nice. Oh, yeah. I wonder if you can hear that. All the uh, ASMR folks. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, I really like that. And you know what? That wasn't very much product, actually, so... For, I think it was $35 for that, so maybe that'll go a long way. I'm excited to try a bunch of others. Oh, we're almost there. Alrighty. So next we have, I got a bunch of these Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama Lashes. I'm hell-bent on learning how to put on a lash. I have really nice natural lashes, so I don't wear, um strip lashes but I'd really like to try them these look glorious and I don't really know how to put them on so I want to make an effort to give that a go I feel like I want to put a little bit more foundation on but I, I'm not going to what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring a foundation with me and touch it up later I really wanted to try the aqua assurance this is my third time buying this this is a powder foundation it, this is in color buff it they just recently got more colors I had night light and natural and I was right in between them so this is the new one right in between them it's perfect for me and I wonder if I could just let me just show this very briefly to you okay this is a powder ready that is crazy that is mind-bogglingly beautifully crazy the fact that it just does that with like one strip so I, I would like to be able to use this as a powder, but not today because I'm not going to put powder on today. So then we're just going to hop 
right into my new Wet n Wild Mega Highlighting Powder. This was really cheap. This is in Blossom Glow. I'm just going to take a Jeffree Star highlighting brush and just put a little bit because you don't want to go ham with this. Oh yeah, gorgeous darling, gorgeous. Alrighty. Beautiful, okay, do I have eyebrows here? I don't, so I'm gonna move past eyebrows and we're just gonna go right into eyeshadow. So I have the ColourPop Color Shock, Super Shock Shadow in Lala. And I recently, did a um, swatch test on the ColourPop palette, which was awful, like no pigment. And I was talking about these shadows. Look at that. Literally just one swipe. One swipe of this, and that's it. With my finger. Don't need to do anything else. It's very one and done, which is how I'm feeling today in the makeup realm. Excellent. And then just as a topper, I'm going to use the NYX Foil Play Cream Pigment in French Macron. Now this comes off um, very close to this color, but it's not. It's really light. It's going to be a little bit more translucent, not as pigmented, but with a nice light dust. like two shadows and that's all you need doing this in my phone is just not the most absolute best thing to do so I have a little hand mirror right beside me so let's take a look at that I totally just put that all underneath this is my giant I just got nails I usually don't have nails um just because I have this love-hate relationship with having nails where I where I love, love, love the look of having nails. And as soon as I put them on, I was like, yeah, but they're just not me. Like I literally put them on and I love them. I love the look. I think they look gorgeous. I think they make my hands look older. I don't know why. I really try not to have old hands. But I'm getting up there, guys. 35. Okay, let's finagle this. I put way too much sparkles underneath. You see my, I usually move this. This is my Marilyn Monroe. This was her first painting, but I think on, on YouTube they'd be like, hey, nudity, take that down. So I usually do, but I was in a super rush today. So we'll see if anyone comments on that probably not I still have a tiny weenie bitty channel I have like 100 views on my videos so thanks guys like my Mandalorian cup I got it for Christmas two years ago from my boyfriend it says the force is strong with this little one all right before I put my lip on I'm gonna do the Laneige sleeping care lip sleeping mask in gummy bear this is my favorite as I've said to you guys multiple, multiple, multiple times. Okay. And I'm gonna try a new mascara. I have two. I have the Essence Double Trouble Mascara, and I also have the Essence Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara. So I've given both of these a try. And I didn't like either of them, but we're going to give it another try because as all you ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure, out there know is that mascara needs a hot minute to work. So we're just going to give this a try. Automatically, I don't like it. It's just not thick enough. It's not doing much. I have really nice lashes. And it's just not like look at that nothing and then the other one is too thick the brush is too thick the wand itself 
is like really hard to get into the nooks and crannies so I'm gonna move this brush back and forth back and forth because half of the brush is a plastic like silicone and then the other half is like bristles oh, it's not a good mascara it makes me sad this one says the best mascaras and I'm just trying I'm trying guys I'm trying Sometimes my lashes are too big with regular mascara to put strips on anyways. So maybe I'll use this not very good mascara underneath when I try to do strip lashes. Like that's just not anywhere close to where I can get my lashes. Okay, I'm giving up on this double trouble one. And I'm going to try this curl and volume. Like look how giant this wand is. It's huge. Okay. So that's immediately better, at least it's thickening up the lashes. But it's already super clumpy. And not thickening, lengthening as much as their green version. They have, um, kind of looks like the same as this with green writing. That's my favorite one, see look. I don't know, I already got like just clumpy disaster. Guys, we're gonna have a shit makeup day today, but we're just gonna have to deal. That's okay. I don't think my grandma's gonna judge me too hard about it. At least I got a cute outfit. This outfit I got from Shein. It was $20 for a two piece. I have a matching skirt with this pink top that you see all right i think that's the best we're gonna get now if you screw up your mascara do not rub it do not grab it wait till it dries and then scrape it off with a nail or tweezers or something because if you wait till it dries it will not smooch yeah, this is not, oh, I'm so disappointed with these mascaras. You know, just stick with a classic, right? My classic is Voluminous by L'Oreal. And then the green and black container by Essence. All right, well, that's what we're doing with that. Ooh, I wanted to put my eyeliner on first. So I also just got the Makeup by Mario Soft perfect brown the perfect brown eyeliner which is my youtuber jessica braun's absolute favorite Ooh, it comes with a little um pencil sharpener sweet oh and it has a little brush on one side that's great and then the perfect brown now my i'm gonna wait till my mascara dries and we're gonna do lips right now so i'm gonna try two new products. I have the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Mesquite and I have the Lifter Gloss in Petal. So this is going to be a little darker than my usual. I've tried both of these fairly recently. I'm going to stop talking.
And there we go. That looks pretty. Whew. I tried um, a new curling iron the other day and I really don't think I like it. It um, Usually when I curl my hair, if I brush it out, the curls stay really well. I guess it's okay. I like my hair more curly. Like this is wavy. I like it like curly, like Sarah Jessica Parker curly. So I think I'm going to uh, send that one back because I have something very similar. All right, we are almost done. I'm gonna try this perfect brown eyeliner. Actually, do you know what? I'm not gonna try this today. I think we are done for the day. I think that's it. So thanks for getting ready with me. I know this was super quick. Hopefully you stuck with me and congratulations, Johnny, on your victory. I'm super stoked, super happy for you. I don't think I would have trusted the justice system if you did not win. He did win um, $10 million in damages and then he won $5 million in punitive damages, but that got capped at $350,000 because in the state of Virginia, that's uh, the maximum amount that they allow for punitive damages. So if any media tells you that he won $15 million, they didn't pay attention. He won $10.3 million and then Amber Heard actually won one count of her defamation against Johnny Depp's lawyer, uh, Mr. Waldman, and Waldman um, said that they set up the scene. They spilled wine, um, so they won one count of defamation for that, and she won $2 million for that. So technically, it wasn't a complete landslide for Johnny Depp, but he won. He is vindicated in the eyes of the public and their entire... Law team is super excited for him. So that's all we're going to do today. Until next time, keep fit and have fun. I think I'm going to be stuck with that, actually. <laughs> the minute I get to be a semi-famous YouTuber, they're going to be like, no, not anymore. Stop doing that. You are not Hal Johnson. You are not Joanne McLeod. So until next time, be well.